now. There we go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's another endeavor. Monday night. And if you weren't on here at the beginning of this call, you have no idea what happened to get it live for you. So welcome to this Monday and hashtag TFR, TFR Motivation, Motivation Monday. Monday. This is a call that you can count on every Monday night, even if it's a circus in the beginning. <laughs> or it comes um, on five minutes late. Yes. It's going to happen. So where we're going to be bringing you updates, announcements from the company, and very frequently special guests, just like we have on here tonight. So we're going to run through these slides super quick so we can get to her. If you're not on here live and you want to catch these as a recording, you can always subscribe to Team Freedom Reigns YouTube and Freedom Rounds, Freedom Reigns on SoundCloud so that you can get notifications when we upload new content. So let's go to the next thing. So I don't know how many of you guys are aware of this, and the I hope promos. all of you, this is the one that is for you, for your new people. Um, if you have had the dual synergizer on your subscription, if you up Grade to the Tri Synergizer this month and have it run next month, you're going to get a free bag of Green Grape Axio. That's massive value. And then if you upgrade to the Ultimate Stack, and this is also for anybody that's new, so any new customers, new distributors that put the Ultimate Stack on their subscription run starting next month, they mm -hmm. will get a free bag of Dragon Fruit Axio next month and you maintain it through January. In January, you will also get another bag of free Axio. So this is a big deal. Take advantage of these promotions. Let me just throw something in real quick. Yeah, just really the good. Axio, just in time for the weather to cool down, try the Axio hot. I got two words for you. You're welcome. You're gonna okay. absolutely love it in the morning. All right, so these are all the save the dates, guys. Take a screenshot here because we're not gonna talk a lot about them. New Zealand is opening next month. Make sure that you're planning on attending Cancun Elite Academy. I know that we're probably down to just a couple, you know, dozen maybe rooms that, that are left yeah. at the Moon Palace. You have to be registered at the Moon Palace by the end of this month to have a room there. You can always stay off site, but there is a charge to come on site. Make sure that you're planning regional elite academies. There will be one within four or five, maybe six hour drive time for you, but it's well worth it. This is going to be breaking up the in-between time of corporate events next year. Global Convention Las Vegas in October. Yes. So cool. Great time to be there. And then Keep in mind what Anthony Robles said, impossible is only found in the Dictionary of, of Fools, fools. Mm -hmm. as we talk about Elite Retreat in Maui, Hawaii next year, December. All you have to do is, um, you've got to hit Elite you by September, to. maintain it two months, and you will be on the beaches of Maui in December. All right, you wanna talk about this one really quick? Go for it. All right, so here we go. This is the Moon Palace. The reason why we have this on here is because it is important for you to attend and deadlines are coming up. August 31st, or sorry, October, October. 31st, Halloween, yeah. is the last day that you can register for the Moon Palace. And they are giving us all kinds of point options to help you earn points. Make sure that you go and check it out either at lifevantage.com on the teamfreedomreigns.com site as well as all over the place YouTube channel. There's all kinds of information. This just came out today in case you didn't see it. So it, these are two different ways that you can earn 100 points towards that trip. You enroll three new customers that have at least 300 in qualifying customer volume to earn 100 points towards Cancun. Basically, that's three Tri-Synergizer new customers, all right? Enroll mm -hmm. them. And then the ultimate stack, you enroll three customers and you are going to have, again, 100 points points towards Cancun. So just go and um, earn those points. So here we go. Yes. Jenny Crane, do you want to talk about her? Go, go ahead. You're on a this roll. Picture, this picture I'm just says it all. You. This woman is not only gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous on the outside, but her heart, her desire to serve. And the reason why she's on this call is because she's also gorgeous on the inside. We are so, so excited to have Elite Pro 7 Jenny Crane on here to share her story. Um, you know, some urgency that we've got going on right now, what we should be doing. She's got some examples for you. So if you don't have notepad and paper or pen, make now. sure you get it and start taking notes because Jenny's going to start and she's going to roll and she's just going to blow our ever-loving mind. So get ready, set, and Jenny. <laughs> well, I just want to thank you guys so much. I uh -oh. love Let's get you on mute. Let me see you. There you go. Now we can hear you. We're good? Yes. We're good. <laughs> Woo I'm ready to go. You guys got me set over here. You know, I just have to say thank you so much for inviting me on your team call. Um, I have to say I've been in this company now since uh, 2012 and you and Dondi have been just incredible mentors to me. 
you know, to my team, thank you so much for your integrity and for all you do for our company. I, I would say you're probably some of the most well-respected distributors in the company. And I tell my team that all the time, follow Marcy and Dondi. You guys are awesome. And your team's amazing. So thank you guys. And you know, I, I want to start by telling my story because I feel like it's going to just touch so many people. You know, I joined LifeVantage in January of 2012. And for me, it was not all roses. In fact, I would say there were more valleys um, than high places. And really, truly, I want to really express that because I feel that the most beautiful thing about this industry in this business is growing us into the people and the leaders that we need to be. And as I look back on some of those, you know, valleys and some of those experiences where I had to step out and learn um, and overcome a lot of fears, um, those were the moments that taught me what I needed to be, what I needed to be, who I needed to be to lead a team, who I needed to be to see the light in other people. And so I've been very, very fortunate to have, you know, really incredible mentors that through those valleys in my life. Um, and in this business, they saw the light in me before I saw it in myself. So I want to encourage maybe anybody that's struggling today, first and foremost, look at it as a moment of growth. You know, look at this moment as a growing experience. So uh, in March of 2017 um, is really when everything kind of shifted for me um, and my team. And one of the biggest changes in our, in our team was the, de the decision to move forward and utilize social media as a way to get in front of people and as a way to grow our business. And in March of 2017, I can still remember the day I made my first post. I was super nervous, like, oh my gosh, now I'm like, I, I'm a full-blown network marketer. Like I think before I was committed, but I had not gone all in, like my whole heart, mind, and soul. So another training tip for you guys uh, listening to this, for those of you that are maybe kind of in and out, maybe one foot in the pool, one foot out, one foot out I want to encourage you to make that intention to come all in. You know, what we have here with Life Vantage is so incredible. We truly have a gift. And, you know, I can honestly say now that I've, you know, kind of expanded out and gotten to know leaders from other companies, truly some of these people have gone four, five, six, seven different companies. You know, we truly have something I believe in this industry that is going to be the light, I believe. And so I'm so thankful. And, you know, today I'm going to give you a few of our social media tips. I, I really want to, at the end of this call, inspire you guys. For those of you that aren't utilizing social media as a tool, I really want you to understand the power behind social media and attraction marketing. And I want to encourage you, if it's something that's so intimidating to you, I promise we've all felt that way. Um, and I just want you to know, you know, sometimes you have to take those small steps to go big. And for me, it was very small. And I can still remember like even pushing the Facebook live button literally for like the first three months, I would almost cry. Like, I can't do it. I can do it. You know? So I just have to say, we've all felt that way. But what you need to know is that the world needs to hear your voice. You know, the world needs to hear what it is that you have to share your passions, what inspires you, because there is a purpose for your life. And what I love about social media is that it shows your purpose. When you are unapologetically you speaking your truth, blessing the world, when you really look at social media as a platform to bless others and not make it about you, that is when I truly believe that you have the power, power to utilize this, this platform in such a way, in a purpose that's bigger than us. And so when I really started looking at my this is part of my ministry as well. Like to be able to speak, um, you know, goodness into people every single day, you guys, people are struggling. And what I love about our company and our business and the opportunity that we have online to really share what we're doing is we have the power to lift people up. And of course, somebody's calling me right now. Can you guys still see me? Oh no. Yeah, you're good. We can see okay. you. Yeah, my yeah. mom just started to call me. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn off my phone. Um, no, really, guys, it's, it's the power to be able to pour into people. And so many people are struggling. So I just want to empower you to look at it differently and understand that this is a gift and a light. So we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about social media and most importantly, the urgency that we're in. Um, you know, four months ago, I really was in a place of reevaluating my own business um, with the fact of like having these legs that were growing and thinking, oh my gosh, like I am in management mode right now. Like, what is it that I'm doing every single day? You know, as my team is expanding and growing, it just seemed that I was getting pulled this direction and that, and then raising a family. So I really sat down and evaluated what I was doing day in and day out on social media. 
And this is, I think, one of the biggest tools and one of the biggest pieces of advice that I want to give you is that you need to focus on social media, on income producing activities. And whether you, you are, you know, utilizing social media or not, income producing activities are the things that you're doing every single day that is going to produce an income. And it's so easy to get, you know, distracted and get caught into management mode. So I'm going to show you what we teach our team daily. We, ba we basically broke this down into a checklist and I'm going to share my screen so you guys understand. Let's see here. Let me know if you guys can see my screen. Just give me the thumbs up. Awesome. So income producing activities, you guys, what I want you to view um, about income act, uh, producing activities is look at what you're making every month. And I want you to understand this because this was big for me. Take the amount that you're making every month and I want you to break it down hourly. You know what it is that you're doing every day for your hourly productivity. And you have to understand that this is going to magnify through duplication. But when you understand every single hour in the importance of you, when you are sitting down working your business, these prime time hours, especially if you're building on social media and utilizing stuff like the social media checklist here, you need to be very focused. And this really was huge for me because when we look at maybe the opportunity of being tired at the end of the day, one of the best pieces of advice that I was given is shut your TV off, right? If you're going to build this business and become an elite distributor in this company, first and foremost. So when I really started looking at my business and breaking it down hourly, it's like I'm on social media. I'm going to be direct and focused and powerful in the things that I'm doing every single day. So I'm going to share this with you guys. This is our beginner social media checklist. And this is what we give to the beginner because of course we don't want to scare, you know, the new person off saying, Oh my gosh, this checklist is so big. It's not something that I can utilize. Um, but this is what we teach our team to be income producing activities. And if you're not scheduling out your day, it does not matter. So what you need to do is every single day, um, I, I usually try to focus on it the night before. Like, what am I doing the next day? I take all of the things that I have to do, and then I schedule out every single thing that I'm doing on Facebook. So my personal growth and development scheduled, because of course that is the foundation. Our mindset is the foundation of what is going to give us the knowledge to build this business. Um, and then of course, you know, posting on Facebook, getting back with people, commenting on people, um, you know, com commenting on people's posts, engaging people, and of course, spending time inside of messenger. Um, and so when you're utilizing these income, uh, let's just call it the IPA to shorten it, but you really want to be focused. Now, scrolling through Facebook for an hour is not an income producing activity. And what I found is that I was, when I was reevaluating my business, this is where I was spending most of my time scrolling, watching those videos, you know, that you probably don't need to be watching. And I really knew that if I was going to get back into it and go on, I, I, I was like intentional on doing, um, bringing new distributors in, distributors in, that this was going to be something that I had to be focused on. So this is our beginner social media checklist. And I want to share with you guys also our advanced social media checklist. Now, this is something that, um, you know, you're going to utilize as you start developing a following, as you start becoming consistent and more comfortable on building on Facebook. And this is something that I've adopted now um, into my business. So um, take a screenshot, do what you have to do. I'll send this over to Marcy and Don D so, you know, they can get it out to you and share it with you if it's something that you want to utilize. Um, but we really feel that this is one of the things that's going to, you know, impact your business on a daily basis. Um, also, this was really huge for me because my goal every day is to reach out to 10 new people by messenger every single day. Now you have to figure if you multiply that by 30 days, that's 300 people a month that you can potentially be getting in front of. And if you multiply that over the year, that's 1800 people that you're able to touch by Facebook messenger every single day. Now, when I took a, took a deep look and reevaluated my business and was like, why am I not, you know, signing up distributors? Why are my preferred customers? Why is it that I've not enrolled anybody in a few months? Well, what I found is, is I went back an entire year and found that there were over 350 messages of people that I had never followed up with. Now, I have to tell you that this is going to be very important for you, especially as a new social media user, is to database and keep track of every single person that you're coming in contact with 
on social media. So here's a few tools that we give to our team. Um, the top tool is just, you know, your regular numbers format um, PDF. We know we have many different people that are comfortable with apps and not comfortable with apps, but this is kind of the basic, you know, online PDF that we give to our team. But if you're somebody that's comfortable with apps, comfortable with, um, you know, going on apps and keeping track, you're a systems person. I suggest the Tractivity app uh, that you can download this on at the App Store on iTunes. Um, it's $12.99 a month. But what I love about this Tractivity app is the potential for you to keep track. You can actually download all of your Facebook contacts into this Tractivity app and you can set your own goals. This was uh, developed specifically for people that are building their business online um, by utilizing a social media. So this is really something that you can get comfortable in using um, and it really kind of breaks it down as far as who you're supposed to be contacting, you know, how many conversations, follow-ups and validations. This is a really easy way for you to keep track of the follow-up and all of these things. So I just have to say that this has made all of the difference in my business. I've been able to enroll 12 distributors and 14 customers within the last three months just by changing my databasing, my tracking, and my income producing activities. You guys, this is huge. If you are intentional and you are focused in what you are doing every single day on Facebook and with your follow-ups, I promise you, your business will grow. Uh, we know that the average person needs to be followed up with, you know, two, three, four, even six times. And so this is going to be essential because, you know, being in front of social media and being able to have the amount of people you're going to be in front of on a daily basis, you know, it's going to be imperative that you're keeping track. And, and this literally was the entire change in my business uh, was databasing and following up with people. So that's it. I just kind of had it put down in a slideshow, but that's all I'm going to share in the slideshow. Uh, one of the other things that I want to share with you guys that has been very effective in my business is utilizing the stories option on Facebook. And for those of you that don't know how to do that, trust me, you'll get comfortable as you practice. But the really incredible thing about the stories option is the fact that you can post about a week's worth of content in one day. And Facebook actually favors this algorithm right now, right? So about two years ago, it was Facebook Lives. Uh, don't get me wrong, Facebook Lives still trump pretty much any other post. But Stories right now is a newer feature on Facebook. So Facebook is really, you know, promoting the algorithm of Stories. And what I really love about the Stories option is that you're posting in Stories. You can actually see who is viewing your posts. And as you're liking other people's stories and you're engaging there, it instantly takes them into Messenger, which is where you want to really put people. Now, we know that Facebook, I absolutely believe, is one of the best ways to develop relationships with people. People do business with those that they know, like, and trust, and it's absolutely possible to do through Facebook. Um, one of the things that has really been kind of revolutionizing my whole business and my ability to bring in um, distributors you know, pretty, pretty efficiently. I'm probably going to be signing up three or four this next week, all on Facebook by utilizing these tools that we're teaching you today, um, is the messenger app and messenger is a way that you can connect with people. And when I send a message to somebody, I do it by voice message. I don't ever type a message. I feel that when a person meets you for the first time, they need to hear your voice. And you have that potential to utilize Facebook Messenger that way. And when I initially get somebody brand new that I've never met on Facebook, you know, somebody that sends me a friend request, I put them in a messenger and I immediately send them a message. And my intention when I do this is to act like I've known them my entire life. Like when I send them a message, I say, hey, Gina, oh my gosh, it's so great to be connected with you. I was checking out your Facebook profile. You inspire me so much. I love that you're an RN. We have so much in common. Tell me a little bit about yourself. And every time that I do that, you guys, when somebody feels, you know, accepted and cared about, it is very rare that people don't respond to me. Because what I have done is I've broken down that, mis that barrier of, of maybe if they're going to trust me or not, and I've made it about them, right? I've connected with them on a personal level, and I get them talking about who they are. 
we all know that it's about finding someone's pain, right? Being able to offer them what it is that they're looking for. And when you're able to connect on an emotional level with someone on Facebook, I can guarantee you that 85% of the people that are trying to build their network marketing business online are not doing it this way. You know, a lot of people are spamming and I am telling you, this is the attraction marketing model. It is not about getting somebody in messenger and saying, Oh, by the way, here's my website. Can you purchase these biohacking products from me? That is not what this is about. You are developing relationships with people every single day. And think about the power of that. You guys, 10 new people in messenger that you are connecting with, with that they like you They immediately hear your voice. They're like, Oh my gosh, I kind of like that girl. Or I kind of like that guy. I trust him. Like she sounds like she really cares. And I am telling you, it is the foundation of a friendship that over time for me now, I literally, you guys, I can't even get back to people in time. Like I'm starting over the, the last, I would say three to four months of really being focused with messenger um, has been really one of those things now that is turning into like, Jenny, tell me what you're doing. I just saw your Facebook post, you know, like they're constantly seeing my posts online that they're like, oh my gosh, like tell me a little bit more. And it just starts those conversations, being able to get them into the groups. And um, it really can be one of those things that if utilized properly can really take your business and building that relationship next level and super quick. And um, it's just such a powerful way to be connecting with people. So I hope you utilize Messenger the proper way. I hope you start using stories, you know, follow some other people that, that are consistent with doing stories and just practice it. You know, you're going to get better by utilizing the stories option. I've kind of gotten away from posting anything about our products on my actual Facebook profile. There's two reasons for that. One being, I feel like we're in a position right now with our company where we need to have integrity in everything that we're doing online. We need to stop making medical claims and, you know, we've changed things so much on our team, but we are teaching our team at the foundation how to post on Facebook the proper way. You guys, we don't need to cheapen what we have. We don't need to make medical claims. And in fact, there should be no mention of any disease attached to our products whatsoever. Now, what I love about the stories option is the fact that you can do little sound bites, right? Little pictures, emojis, ways to to pique people's curiosity. And it really eliminates the potential to make medical claims because you're just kind of giving people a snippet as to what our products can do. Um, and there's so many different ways. It's actually really fun to get creative with, but that is one of my biggest takeaways or one of my biggest pieces of advice for you guys is that as you start utilizing Facebook, please be careful about what we are saying online. We need to protect the beautiful gift that we have here with Life Vantage. Our products are so next level that we don't need to make medical claims, you know, and if you're utilizing Facebook properly and developing relationships with people, you can teach them how to do this business the right way. So utilize the story section for your product posts. It's going to eliminate the temptation to just get that quick customer or distributor because you want to build your business. We don't need to do that, you guys. We need to have integrity with what we're doing um, to build our businesses online. And, you know, people are watching us. We, we would need to be very, very careful. There have been other companies that have gotten letters that have been shut down because their distributors are out there talking about products, making medical claims that we don't need to do. You guys, we are the messenger. We are not the message. We are connecting people with information. And most importantly, we're building relationships. So I really hope that, you know, I've given some nuggets here. I know I was kind of going fast, but <laughs> I know we don't have very much time. So I don't know, Marcy and Don D, if you want to add anything, if you had questions, if you want to kind of have me expand on anything else. Um, but I know we are fitting in a lot in a short amount of time. So, yes. Well, one thing I would like for you to just kind of touch on is using Messenger as a third party connector. Oh, that's a good one. Absolutely. So third party messenger is, uh, I'm sorry, messenger is an incredible way to utilize that third party validation. So I always train my team. We train our team that as soon as they're having these conversations inside of messenger initially, um, to connect them right away with a third party, you know, adding into the groups, you can go into messenger and add by groups. Um, and, and introduce, you know, the validator or introduce myself, Marcy or Don D as the expert. And really what's incredible about this is, um, you know, utilizing it for third party, you're able to reach out to, you know, Marcy, Don D, whoever your upline is and say, look, I've been chatting with this girl, Gina, I'm using Gina today. 
Um, you know, she seems pretty interested. She's a little bit apprehensive, whatever it may be. Please, this is something that she's passionate. I always like to come into that third party validation on Messenger, um, you know, offering them a compliment, making them feel comfortable, making it about them and not about the information that we're trying to give them because that really breaks down those walls. So it just is a really great way to utilize that third party because it's simple. You can, you know, take those messages back and forth and develop that relationship. And of course we know third party validation is the foundation of what we're doing here. We have to be duplicating this process and it's absolutely doable on third party messenger for sure. Yes. And one thing I love about it is that you're not time bound right? You don't have to find one specific time that everybody can get together on a phone call or something like that. This is, you know, it's so much, oh, it takes so much off of your shoulders, <laughs> right? Absolutely. And messenger, what I try to do after really kind of creating that relationship or that third party validation where you're having that conversation is as soon as possible, get them on a zoom or get them either on a phone call where you're able to actually talk. And so it's probably very rare I get someone in third party messenger or I'm messaging someone myself where if we've had about two to three conversations, I say, Hey, you know what? I'm kind of sick about going back and forth on messenger. I'd love to have a conversation. Would you be open to jumping on a call with me? And most of the time they're like, absolutely. Like I would love to know a little bit more about what you're doing. And it just seems to be just a really great way to kind of make that flow natural and not so overwhelming or feeling sold or whatever it may be. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Love that. Quick question for you, Jenny. So one of the things that we come in contact with quite often is when people are building their Facebook friends list and they're building their online presence, it always comes up. Well, I don't really, uh, oh my gosh, 10 new people a day, you know, 30 days. I don't even know 300 people. We get into this. I don't really know that many people. What, what do you normally recommend for people to broaden their boundaries and meet new people? Absolutely. Well, Facebook groups is a really awesome way to connect with people. And what I like about Facebook groups is that you can determine what it is that you're passionate about, you know, whether you're a homeschooling mom, you know, whether you're, you know, into very into like maybe the, the crunchy type of mom, holistically minded mom, you know, you can go into these groups and become members of these groups. And what I like about it is you can find those like-minded people, people that have common interests with you. Um, and, and really be able to go into those groups and add value and make friends that way. Because these are people that are your people. You know, they're passionate about the same things that you're passionate about. And, um, you know, make sure when you are going into groups as kind of a side note, uh, don't ever go into those groups and spam and sell in the groups. Like going in and commenting on people's posts. You know, I think I'm, I'm involved with a few NPHFR groups, migraine groups, because it's something that I'm passionate about educating on. But I see people going in these groups all the time. You know, somebody will make a post, oh my gosh, I have a migraine. And then there's like 10 different comments below. Check out my products. Here's my product link. So just make sure as you're like finding friends in these groups, that's like one of the biggest takeaways. Get them into Messenger and start that conversation. Certainly don't spam the group because Number one, you're probably going to get kicked out, um, but groups is a, a very effective way for you to build your friends list, build the list of people that of things that you have in common, and um, it, it really is just an incredible way for you to add value and develop those relationships as well. And then, of course, slowly adding people onto your friends list. Don't spam people and just go in and try to add as many people as you can because Facebook does not like that. It, it like the algorithm goes haywire. Uh, so you really want to make sure you're doing it slowly, maybe five to 10 new people at the very most every single day as you're building your friends list. You certainly don't want to go add like 50 people. And then, you know, it's kind of like throwing eggs against the wall, hoping something's going to stick. That's really not the long-term vision of, of creating that relationship foundation on Facebook. Yeah. So good. Absolutely. So Thank much you good so stuff. much. Anything else that you want to ask on that? I have one question. Go left. ahead. So this question is not about Facebook. It's about events. Okay. We're getting really close to the deadline for moon palace. Uh, what would you say to someone that is on the fence of registering and then start earning that money back? Right. What would you say to them about attending Cancun elite Academy? That's a good one. And I have to say, I would not be sitting here today if it were not for events. The very first event that I attended was Las Vegas, Nevada. I think it was February of 2012. And I've never missed an event. Like 
ever missed an event in seven years. And the foundation of building this business is no matter what, you have to make sacrifices sometimes. You know, sometimes you're looking at your finances thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to make this happen? But really, truly, I believe when you step out in faith and you commit to the system, you commit to being a leader that's going to, you know, be somebody that people want to follow, that's registering for events and it's figuring it out. You know, sometimes we have to make sacrifices as we're building, but it's an absolute non-negotiable and get registered. I mean, your team is going to be there if you're going to be there. If, they're, if you're not there, they're not going to be there. So it's a non-negotiable and I can remember the very first event that I went to, we literally had $50 in our bank account. Mm. Like I'm surprised. Like that was one of the reasons that Nick and I were standing on stage. I told him because most husbands would be like, are you crazy? We got $50. Like you are not going to Las Vegas, Nevada. There, there's no way we can afford this, but no matter what, you know, God always provided, he always showed up. He always made a way. And so I would say absolutely 100% get registered. It's going to work itself out. And it's a commitment that you need to make to build your business. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you so much. Once that finality of that decision has been made, everything else starts to fall in place. It's just making that being decisive and making that decision. Thank you so much for your time tonight. And we, we're so sorry about the technical difficulties in the beginning. But as I predicted, every time we have technical difficulties, we end up with a powerful instant classic show like tonight. Thank yes. you so much. So amazing. I appreciate you both. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So now with this information, as you're developing your relationships, you're inviting people to see this info. What are you going to invite to? Obviously, every Tuesday night, we have the live opportunity overview um, that you can invite to on Zoom. Um, and by the way, tomorrow night, we have special guest presenters, Sarah and Chris Smith um, from Maine are going to be presenting because we will be in Canada. Um, and then next week, we also have a special presenter, Billy Paquette. So guys, make sure you get this on your calendar. This is an amazing way to invite people to see this information. Getting a little bit different flavor from mm -hmm. different people each week is awesome because you get to see different ways people present and you can see yourself doing it that way. So I'm excited. Yes, absolutely. Jenny, thank you so much for taking time out of your very busy schedule to pour into our team. If there's anything Marcy and I could ever do to return the favor, please call upon us. Don't, don't ever hesitate. We are always, the, the answer is always yes. Thank you guys so much. And if people have questions, they can reach out um, to me as well. I'm here to support any way that I can. And I just love you guys. No, we um, love you. Thanks you. so God much, Jenny. You. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a good night. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.